I need your eyes, my friend.
guards here are vigilant.
This place is heavily guarded. side must be barred. Have a look soon.
How could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. Oh, hey. What? 
Huh. 
One, two, brother.
Jammed. Need to get on the other side.
Show me what love.
be blocked from the other side.
My heart, thank you. Yeah, I'll tell all my definitely friends not good. I thought you were a cheat, a swindler, but you were right. Lord, light your way. about this lap, my friend.
sumarit fyrra og sildum svar. Let's see you, old friend. Thank <laughs> you. 
You have my sincere thanks, friend.
I'll finish you! Help me with this. Come here! Give me a hand with this. We've outstayed our welcome.
many times oh, left. Jeez, breath. Do you see?
Keep your distance. Best brace my hood here. Ugh! <laughs> 
Let's end this.
wallop is like none other all it takes is oh such a fine wallop it is little ones what is this wallop you speak of it's our grandfather and be careful unless you want a walloping i am certain my might could clove his wallop many cowards have said the same he uses only one fist one wallop boom like a wolf howling with its knuckles well this wallop has me curious. Ha! Good. Destiny is coming to your plate. Grandfather? There's someone looking for a walloping! 
Hello. Yes, I have overwhelmingly powerful strength, but it is not worth talking about. If you are a Dringa, we should tell stories of battle, swill a cup of mead around the hearth, and share our wisdom. You want some wisdom? Don't become a hero like I have. I'm cursed with this wallop. These children have made me curious. Your calm demeanor, even more so. Oh, I beg you. There's no need for this to go where I feel you think it should. <laughs> you best depart unless you desire your face become a fist cave. Children, stop saying such things. I do not want to use it. I truly wish to see this wall up. I will break it with my humble fists. Oh, neither of us will enjoy this, I'm afraid. Aid me, O Lord! So goes my day. There you have it, as promised. Banal victory for me and my wallet. Oh, still unbeaten. My god. Come back if you want another taste of my endless victory. I know I don't want you to. If you want the wallop, it will ruin your life. It has ruined many already. Hi, I have returned. I see. Yes, it is time. I want to experience this wallop. This is a sad moment in time. Hold on to your teeth. That's enough. Don't say I didn't warn you. The disappointment you will feel, I also feel. I'm tired. As promised, banal victory for me and my wallet. Ugh, still unbeaten. Why, God? Come back if you want another taste of my endless victory. I know I don't want you to. If you want the wallet, it will ruin your life. It has ruined many already. Hi, I have returned. I s Yes, this is a... Time has come for you! Oh, so goes my day. There you have it. As promised. Banal victory for me and my wallet. Oh, still unbeaten. Why, God? Come back if you want another taste of my endless victory. I know I don't want you to. Don't... Hi. I have returned. I see. Yes, it is time. This is a sa You finished! Don't say I didn't warn you. The disappointment you will feel, I also feel. Oh, so goes my day. Down you go. I've never been bested before. I'm shocked. Stunned. I never thought it possible. You have thwarted my wallop. You may have access to the treasure my wallop has sadly gifted me over the years. Various awards for bashing skulls. I feel liberated of my legacy. Now I can live my life. <laughs> the treasure he promised. His wallop won him an ocean of riches. Hmm. The children kept the collection of those he had walloped.
A fellow adventurer need to know the lie of the land? Well worth a little silver, I assure you. All right. Now, show me your map. There is a place... here. That's all I have for now. Find me later.
walk in me. I shall inform the local Waffingas that he lives among them through traces of the Nephilim, the giant warriors who fought for God in their ancient time. They have left his presence here on Earth for us to absorb his light, the light of angels that have been infused throughout the Earth. I feel his power. He calls me my beloved, and I am calmed. I respondeth with my communion, my piety, and become another of his voices. I shall inform the local Waffingas that he lives among them through traces of the Nephilim. The giant warriors who fought for God in their ancient time. They have left his presence here on Earth for us to absorb his light. The light of angels that have been infused throughout the Earth. I feel his power. He calls me my beloved, and I am calmed. I respondeth with my communion, my piety, and become another of his voices.
such odd energies lying here unseen. built the silo and managed... The barley in that silo was watered by my blood and sweat. Yes, and you get your share of silver when I sell it. But you keep most of it. Of the thousand you made last month, I got a measly two hundred. I deserve the extra profit. I secured the sale and managed the tax. Endless hours of negotiating. You there, Dane. Who deserves more? The worker who makes the barley, or he who actually sells it? The man who plants the seeds merits all the praise, and a greater share of silver. This thing speaks nonsense! No, no, I appreciate a stranger understanding injustice. More silver should line my pockets for my hard work. I will let you drink my famous ale from my famous barley, Sebi's Slush, they call it in town. They do. Hmm. And eat your the situation is strained between these two Lights brothers. And a good course of leeches. I've dumb in knife-wielding madmen. I wish our parents would get along like they used to. Before, when there was no silo, and we all shared the barley. Seems silly to think who gets more or what. We have enough. They just fight like dogs. Dogs who forgot why they're even barking in the first place. All they do is squabble. I remember a time when the barley brought us joy. We praised it, smelled it, rubbed it against our bellies. Aye, good farmer. I don't know what to do. I have such anger in me. Take a breath, drink some ale, and enjoy your hard work. No amount of silver is worth a broken friendship. Impossible, I'm afraid. When my blood boils, the world must know. In my home, there's only one way to settle this honorably. A home gang. You're right. Bollocks to him. I'll pummel him. Give him a taste of a laborer's fist. Fucker! from me if i must raise my what fist, have we become reduced to animals all they do is squabble i remember a time when the barley brought us joy we praised it smelled it rubbed it against our bellies I wish our parents would get along like they used to. Before, when there was no silo, and we all shared the barley. Seems silly to think. What have 
we become? Reduced to animals. Apart. It is true that we were once all so happy. Perhaps we can now start over from scratch. Eternal care, or we'll be fighting till doomsday. Those rocks they had in their camp, the ones shaped like fingers.
I must be careful now. Peace around here. Go.
If they see me, this will get messy. my lead. Nothing more to share. Talk 
With me, here! <laughs> This way. Oh, I'll follow you then. You have lost your apples. But I have. Oh, a devilish wind took me over and I worry for them. But I've saved the finest and the juiciest. Oh, these apples explode in your mouth with the iridescent light of Jesus. What makes them special? An apple is an apple, no? Oh, I beg to differ, my friend. You see, every year we make the pilgrimage to the west. Hammer's farm. Farmer Hammer to the west? 
Yes, we call him the Hammer, and his apples are fine. Have this sweet iron tinge in them. My friends have already made it back. They are surely feasting already, but I fell on some misfortune. My cart busted. Oh, me apple cart hath fallen! These apples must be eaten. They're too juicy to be left to rot. Valde in regno de Egypti Faraoni. Obsessus cum profeta Mosi imprecari. Oh, eternal thanks for carrying the crate. I would be happy to share in the bounty of these apples with you once we meet up with your friend. Oh, surely. We will share the Lord's work with you. The iron tinge, you will taste it. We all have earned it after fasting. Fasting? Is that when you lack food for your God? Yes, we show our devotion, remove distraction. But now, we give in to the fruits of our Creator's work. Sharing an apple with a friend is the most sublime experience. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to sometimes sit back and simply enjoy an apple. Well, with our fortune always changing in life, it's important to enjoy simple pleasures. <laughs> Oh, I am so excited for you to see my friend and eat apples with us. <laughs> the act of walking, the pilgrimage we're going on. We will prostrate ourselves for Guthlak at the end of this glorious pilgrimage. Drown in his reward. Here we are, our tiny sanctuary. Join in prayer for the apples, if you like. We bob. Bob? Is the only way to piously reap the reward of our Holy Father. Praise be to him. Oh, Brother Holtwolf. And you've made a friend as well. Good to have you back. Adheret lumbare ad furure de hominibus quasi stercus superrudit a scabra cuius. Multi autem sunt in numero, sed mente sua ad modum tenues esse. What is it you do here again? As a stable hand and a gameskeeper, I am happy to help you with any matter concerning your horses or your raven. How did you come to have such an affinity for horses, Rowan? They were my best friends growing up. I was a sickly boy with a stammer, and the horses were the only ones who never teased me. Over time, I suppose I came to understand them as well as you may understand people. I listen when they speak, and vice versa. May I see your stores? Nothing more today. 
Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. Remember everything I taught you. Anything else? What have you got for me today? All done? Can we do a bit of- Absolutely. Do you need anything else? I'm off. Be well, friend. Bye, Eivor. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. Good to see you. Tell me about what you do here. If you want to deal with your raiders, you come through me. I'll make sure they're ready for you and keep them in fighting shape. You need to build some barracks, otherwise these raiders are going to get soft, and we can't have that. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Be well.
Eivor. Good to see you. Yanli, this list. Are these debts? No. Those are the names of the deliveries I have yet to make. Still waiting on payment. These are quite far away. And in all directions. It may be they don't have time to travel here. That could be. If you had a mind to deliver them yourself, I would cut you in. Surely they wouldn't refuse you payment. An interesting idea. Maybe when I have the time. Keep the note, just in case. I've been saving these just for you. I would like to see what you have in stock. It will be many battles. This looks practically in bay for you. Glad you like it. My second best customer. Home for these. Only a fool would pass this up. Eivor, you should definitely get this. Done shopping for the day? I will see you later, friend. Always a pleasure, Eivor.
I need your eyes, my friend. May I see your stores? Is that what you want? You like the looks of that one? Ready for battle. What is it you do here again? If you need weapons and arm... I have to go. See you soon. Put that gear to good use out there.
Eivor! Hey!
clove myself here. Survey the area, Sunan. and cutlery at last they came thank you stranger
up, Viking!
up with me. What do you see?
over here. with this. Ah! <laughs> 
helmet. Information. I have it. Do you need it? My prices are competitive. Yes, all right. Now, show me your map. There is a place... here. That's all I... I should be cautious around here. my 
sight.
side must be barred. get on the other side. Let's see you, old friend. Cards here are vigilant.
Fight smart. Use your glimmer. Blocked from the other side. This area is off limits.
Get back to the ship!
Have a look, Sunin.
other side must be barred. get on the other side. Much longer. <laughs> Let us lose!
Stay!
Done good, lads. Scared those wenches right off. Won't be seeing them around anymore. Huh. I'll say. Not perhaps. Hello there.
I hope to see you again soon. Leaving already? Shame. Until next we meet. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. <laughs> I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Prepare to taste bitter defeat once our battle is done. Oh, ho, ho, terrible. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're no better than a rat that I would evict from my house. No sense of timing. This one is no match for you, young elf. I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling, and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Earth. Ha! <laughs> That's predicted. A slow brain and a fat tongue. You were not worth the effort. Come find me when you've honed your skills. Back for more, eh? Must have an appetite for punishment. I have... I... Good. Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a bracket will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Earth. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling, and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Irv. <laughs> I'm impressed. You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised, I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. Welcome. This was an amazing choice. This would look very fetching. These will come in very handy. I can always use more of that.
You should always be fully stocked. Leaving already? Shame. I have to... That song. You have spent some days on a longship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt-blasted hair? The talk of pummeling over the years. All that seawater. Feels like hay now. Better keep away from the horses, then. <laughs> you are very quick. And sturdy, by the looks of you. But you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there in Repton. I would have recognized you. I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. Too old, too frail. Dead weight, as they say. I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Not many of us can say they lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Or have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas, write your songs, and bellow out in the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. I would like to add to it. Take this key, and if you find yourself in Repton, seek out my quarters near the docks. There is a large tree out front. Inside you will find a few of my most prized items. Take them. I no longer have any need. You honor me. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. Odin, guide your way, young drinker. I should keep an eye out for this old raider's home, if ever I am in Repton.
good traveler. What seek you? Perhaps I can help. Well worth a little silver, I assure you. All right. Look here. The spot I'll mark on your map. A place I know. What has spurred his little heart? Ah, my soon-to-be highly coveted elixir. You see, one gulp puts you to sleep, and when you wake up, you are suddenly richer. <laughs> I've not heard this ruse before. It sounds like one I know, and I cannot explain how it works, but it does. Take that gentleman's elation as proof. He and many others have returned to me, all with different tales to tell, but all wealthier in the end. All right. Give me the elixir. I don't have any on hand. To brew this elixir involves great risk. You must be certain you are up for the challenge. Won't know until I hear it. Very well. There are two crucial ingredients you must bring me. Bear testicles and fresh lichen. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well outside. Be careful. Elixir. <sighs> Definitely not good.
Show me. Asked about this lamp, my friend. Not good. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter as... Stretch your wings, Sunan.
the bell. Here, I've brought what you asked for. Very good. Let me get to work. I will have the elixir ready shortly. There we have it. One elixir of miraculous wealth. Enjoy. Cursed alchemist. Looks as though this one took the elixir as well. Ended up here, but could not get out. I should return to the alchemist. See if he knows what happened.
Why are you naked? Because my uncompromising lack of clothes brings me joy. Yet my very own sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists? Those who bear their skin for pleasure? Indeed. We, we bear our skin at all times, in the tradition of great Greeks and Romans. Yet some say I am too... enthusiastic. Nude in prayer, at mealtimes, at work, in the streets and alehouses, everywhere. For Jesus loves us best as we were born. But the group I founded has expelled me. Oh, if I could exact revenge, steal their clothes and render them nude forever, I would. joins the ranks of the liberated. Greetings, Dane. This is our private celebration of skin. We are open to all who strip. Would you join us? I met a man who claimed to have created this club. What happened to him? Winchell. Yes. He was a bit too, um, <clears throat> assertive for us. He was overly tempted by bare flesh, so we had to send him away. I would be honored to join your group. Where do I place my clothes so I can start dancing? Wonderful. A new member. Simply place your clothes in that crate hidden by the tent and partake in the liberation. Fresh, gorgeous beast of a... Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store yours in there, too. Just put your... Hey! Stop that! Put it down! Now you're nude forever, as Wintil wanted. Now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful. Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings. A breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy. Be well, Winchell the chest tree.
You, alchemist. What happened to me after I drank that piss? How should I know? I told you, I cannot explain how it works. What I can say is the elixir hit you particularly hard. You stumbled out of here, then began sprinting across this forest as if you had a nose for something. Very feral. I was worried, but I'm glad to see you are all right. Your wealth has swelled, has it not? In a manner of speaking, I awoke in a cave beside a dead man clutching some treasure. Hmm. I've not heard that outcome before. One of your customers and the same pursuit, I think. Only he was not so lucky. Perhaps I should shelve this elixir for the time being. At least until I can better understand its effects. Good thinking. Strange. Crossing a new threshold to take care, for it is difficult to know what foes lie in wait beyond. Dead! Ah! 
such odd energies flying here unseen.
Hate me. Be my eyes.
Survey the area, Zulu. It is over. You can come out now. Tarquin? My Thane! What has happened? Your caps have fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh, God, no. It was only a game. A romp. My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. All a part of the seduction. <laughs> oh, God. You really thought my life was in danger? And you've risked your own. Oh, you. Oh, you are so brave. A fine protector. Tell me you're joking. Please, you must fight for me. Who knows what lurks below? What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector, stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Assuredly. No more. I yield. Find another champion, lady. Strange. Just stand at the door below. That will place you directly between me and any sad, bad men. Trouble coming. No, no, no. Real trouble. Keep quiet. I'd say that's worth a look. I think it is time I take my leave.
malevolence. This land bears deep affliction. Need to be careful here. What is your name? May. Eivor. Something about this tree important to you? It's the leaves. My father said he would return home before they'd all fallen to the ground. And now, only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's gone to Lincoln in search of work. I wish he stayed. Just one more season. He was so sure the fields wouldn't yield, but we could have tried. All I can say for certain is that this leaf will fall. You should hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. That way, if your father never returns, your heart will not break. But if he does, you will weep with joy. I haven't thought of it that way, but it is a simple idea to live by. You're right. I must carry on with or without him. Thank you, Eivor. May the Lord be with you. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait just a little bit longer. Till the goats begin to bray. Yes. A little longer. It, then. Carry on with your life, May. Everything will be all right. friend i think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you today my saga is writ glory ah oh, a brave steed has swept me up onward to my loyal companion if i don't stop him something or someone less forgiving will i should stay close by wait for him to tire You will be 
the honor to add to my legend. My belly hurts and I do not know why. not to draw attention here. You keep this up, you are going to get yourself killed. Are you hearing me? Yeah! Loud and clear! Now stand aside so that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! I'm going to have to drag you back myself, huh? Yes, God. Where are you? I must find my way back to you. Oh, if my mother could see me now. There is no resisting this lasting legacy I have forged. A wise man said it best. To resist is to piss in the wind. And it is the envy of all who came before, and all who are yet to come! Your Skald. Gods? Is he dead? No, but he should be. Seems the gods disagree this time. Splash water in his face, and keep your distance. He will throw up something fierce. Thank you for the advice, and for your trouble, which is now my problem. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bex, are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I could reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is. Wake, my love, wake! Soldiers at our door! They've come for you! For us! Let them take me! I have no more fear! Let me air my wrath in the courts! They'll kill you before they let you speak! I'll appeal to the council! They must know what the Mad One has done! They're upon us! Now is not the time!
Bex, I'm closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got the data. Here it comes. I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. Please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think. How could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you fool. Must I do everything? Are you? You wanted fire. There you have it. Though I get the sense you two are ill fit for whatever it is you're plotting. <laughs> this one takes us for a fool, brother. We sons of Ragnar have this well under control. No, we do not. Sons of Ragnar? I know of many, but never have I heard of Dull and Dollar. What is your plan here? We set up that abandoned house to practice a raid. Build it with our most precious things to up the stakes. Even master raiders such as we need to stay sharp, brother. You better hurry. Yes, for glory! Please come with. I do not want to do this with my brother alone. 
this raid will harden our legacy brother. Clans will come crawling, begging us to join them. Our names will echo in the halls of Valhalla, and worry not, budding sprout. Together, we will grow you into a fine warrior. I get the feeling we haven't much to teach him. Go on, brother. Like we talked about, blow these doors in like a punishing storm. Stand back, Sprout, and observe. You may learn a thing or two. I am excited. You must hear it in my voice. Ah, I cannot do it. Gentle as a lamb. Stand aside. What is wrong? The door is not opening. Use the key. Ah, yes. Uh, uh... Where did I put it? God! Mother's axe! It is inside! Please, stranger, you must get it back for us. Find a way in. Ugh, doll and dollar, like I said. Found a way in. I do not see it here. Wrong again. Focus. to the door. Get out of there! Oh, thick-headed fools! I am unharmed, which makes you very lucky. Smart, you mean. I must have taken Mother's axe out of the house, knowing this fool would forget it. And left the key in its place. You two are as useful as a glass hammer. I'm leaving. Brother, we must endure. The world will know us by name soon enough.
Say that again? You heard me. I need eggs. Viper eggs. Crusty little shits won't go away. This is my land. I was here first. So, as I said, bring me viper eggs and I'll make sure they leave and never come back. Provoking snakes is not how I plan to spend my day. But that could change. A reward? Yes, I understand your meaning. Bring me the eggs and it will be done. Look soon in. I knew I would regret this. <coughs> <laughs> that nearly turned my insides out. Oh, I wish I could see the stir I've caused above. Uh, my reward before I choke to death. Uh. As we agreed. Well, have you nothing to say after such a forceful breaking of wind? <coughs> it blew me away. Uh.
Oh, my throat! It's like someone has poured salt in it! <laughs> Don't you know it's forbidden to consort like this under God's roof? Take what you want, heathen. Just leave us be. You must be the abbess here. Why do you hide in a musky old church? We are not hiding. We sought to flee the Shire in the midst of this ungodly war. But in our haste to leave, I lost my crozier. 
fell into the hands of some guards in a camp just below, and I am not leaving without it. Dangerous endeavor for three sisters of the cloth. What is your plan? You going to bore them with Bible passages until they give it back? Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. <laughs> it just may work. Or better yet, I can get your crozier back. You would help us? Mercian soldiers make good practice. And now I'm invested in your plight. Lead the way. How long since you fled the Ministry? Must be weeks now. We had no plan and no help. We just knew we had to get out of Ledichester, whether it is Burgred on the throne or one of yours. Makes no difference. Their reign would be less than godly. No offense. None taken. I must be careful now. This is the camp. One of them has my crozier. Nothing here for you. What? Hold there. He's going down! The Abyss's crozier should be somewhere in this camp. We're in together! Time to die! I have it. Let's go! Down to the river! You are unlike any sisters I've seen. Bare fisting armed men like that. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. We Christians take matters into our own hands well enough. We are nearly there. Lincolnshire is on the other side. Gather around. Let us pray to the Lord our God and thank him for watching over us. Your crozier. The Lord sent me a shepherd to help lead my flock today. Thank you. You did not have to do what you did. There's truth to that. You would have done fine on your own. I will never look upon sisters of the cloth the same way after today. And I will never look upon heathens the same way. Farewell. Horrible 
What do you see? Go on. Try it yourself. Eivor. Come. Stand here and look out over the fjords. Hold my hand. There you go. I've never been so high. <laughs> Your father brought me here long ago, when we were just 19 winters. Together we stacked stones into cairns. These? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. How do I win? You win by playing. And a quiet mind is your reward. Let the air and nature's beauty soothe you.
Troll cursed corruption lurks here. You speedy hair. No entry to you past this point without a password to anoint. What is this place? A den for those who answer the call of a slick and slippery midnight brawl. To compete, a phrase that must be spoken, but it seems you don't yet have this token. Worry not, young pup, and look around. If memory serves, there's a clue to be found. Hold right there, you speedy hare. No entry to you past this point without a password to anoint. What is this place? You speedy hare. No entry to you past this point without a password to anoint. Naked fists and wall eyed lisps. Ah, a keen eye and clever nose. You'll need them both to keep on your toes. Enter, enter, take your shot. But careful, don't get beat to snot. 
Are you ready? Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. Let's see if you don't take a fall against the one they call the Wall. Edward of Lincoln. <laughs> Watching you rub bodies was an absolute treat. You move just like a noodle. My favorite thing to eat. It would please me to no end to watch you fight again. So whenever, now or then, return promptly to my den. Again, ready for more. Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. There may be shared blood in your veins against this rapid firing Dane, Baller of Kent. Again, ready for more. Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. I think it's time your head got stung. For none remain but the silver tongue. One on one, you'll fight with me. Champion of the BBB. In such a fight, you wallop me with all your might. It seems to me you've proven to be champion of the BBB. I am honored, I think. Go on now, carry our name with only pride and never shame. Remember how it was you came to be blessed with so much fame. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> 